Hey there, welcome to a special live here. I'm going to go ahead and ask our special guest to join us here. And Bella. And so I see, yay! <laughs> Bella! so happy to see your face hi hi oh my gosh we we miss you here in california miss you too. <laughs> and you made it back yes yeah. good good so um i'm just like overwhelmed seeing your face <laughs> because <laughs> because you you joined us and i've been so excited to have this conversation too and just also catch up and hear how you're doing um but you spent a good over two months with us is that right Bella yes about yeah. 10 weeks 10 weeks oh and I just saw Lincoln joined us <laughs> hey Lincoln what's up um I see a bunch of our our PT and OT friends joining us too because there's a lot of people on your team Bella um, and I'm just really excited to have them hear straight from you, your story. Lincoln says hi, by the way. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm curious if you can share for people a, a little bit of your story, what, what happened, kind of what was happening for you before you found Reactive, before you started with us. Sure. Um, so before I came to Reactive, about nine months before, I had the HPV shot, and then my body went into, like, panic mode, mm -hmm. and I lost the feeling in my legs and my whole body, sorry, and um, I first started weird walking, which ended me up in Children's Hospital, and then they diagnosed me with FND. And then I spent two weeks inpatient, which was rough, but then they discharged me because they really couldn't do anything else for me. They just decided it's time to go home and look for an inpatient or outpatient um, uh, PT and OT. So we tried to find something, but couldn't find anything. And then... I had a big seizure and then I went back to children's cause I was shaking mm -hmm. and then I lost the ability to see. Mm -hmm. So I was still in children's for another two weeks and then children's and I didn't really bond. So <laughs> um, I went to mass gen where they, cause I was having a hard time breathing so they really weren't much more of a help. They just said to find outpatient or inpatient. So my mom stayed up and did a whole lot of researching. And I went to Baltimore for a consult. And it was not what we expected. They were expecting me to stay there for about two months where my mom and I couldn't have any contact. They were treating me like a psych patient. Wow. So we decided it's not the right fit, but we had to wait six weeks to even get that consult, so I was really freaking out. Mm -hmm. But then we found Reactive, and before Reactive, I was almost going to, sh to Chicago, so I'm glad I was able to go to at least California, because California is amazing. <laughs> warm weather yeah it's been so nice when you were here you got to do so many fun things right yeah. Disneyland was like a I huge know. highlight <laughs> <laughs> so you had been through a lot and it had started yeah. with this like initial event and some weird walking but like you mentioned it progressed to many things to where you couldn't see you had trouble swallowing and speaking, moving yeah. all of your limbs, right? And I was so lucky to be there. The, the, you know, your first evaluation with Lincoln and 
um, and get to get to meet you and see. Yes, you had a lot involved, but you also had a lot like ready to come out um, and, <laughs> and ready for you to find your voice again. And I, I could just tell I was really um, so, so happy about that. Um, so, yeah, so you started with us and um, not able to see, not able to um, speak well or move your arms or your leg or a little bit of your head, um, and we did some head dancing yeah. to start, but, um, and your body, and, um, and then you worked with our team, so our whole integrated team. Tell me a little bit about what, and tell me and everybody else who is watching, too, what are you able to do now that, that you weren't able to do when you first started? So now I can fully move my arms um which is amazing i could push myself which was a huge goal that i wanted to be able to do um i have these modes um i have sleeping beauty mode and moana mode which you guys have me name um i'm currently right now in moana mode which is how i can speak to you it's where i can speak and fully move my body i just can't walk yet we're working on it Mm -hmm. um, where I can fully move my legs and my arms and I can sit up without any help. But when I'm not in that mode, I can't move anything besides my arms, but I can, I'm way more independent. Like I can do my hair and brush my teeth and I can see, which is amazing. My head control is getting much better, which is amazing. So I'm yeah. really excited. Yeah, it is amazing. And it was really amazing to see you kind of progress through this with our team with, you know, um, first there, there was, we, you started to gain some control and then there were like little flickers of ability to see. And then, and then you were able to see, which was like such a gift, right? And to be yeah. able to speak, it's just also just so lovely to hear hear your voice and you started you. moving one arm and then you know the other arm and we didn't say this at the beginning but you're generally your body was pretty shut down right yeah. and not a lot of movement except for the right arm actually had a lot of tone and almost a dystonic posture yeah. right and that also um I'm seeing you move your arms there, but that also was something that you were able to gain control yeah. of which was like we cheered on every single little step. Um, and you said something, too, that um, I love how you had names for these things. Like, you will still experience the sleeping beauty or a more shut down kind of mode, right? But you actually have more yeah. control than you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's um, I, I love. I think everybody should have names. I think it helps us identify those feelings too. So you got Moana, um, and you've got Sleeping Beauty. Um, yeah. and I thought that was really profound the way that you <laughs> could identify identify those. So um oh Chelsea just joined us too. So um for other people who don't know our team, Chelsea uh Richardson is the lead of our functional movement disorder program and these intensives and she worked really closely with you as did Lincoln who is our movement yeah. disorder fellow and our amazing occupational therapy team too you you really got it all in fact we still have your gingerbread house <laughs> and uh, <laughs> all kinds of paintings and things like that from you um Bella they're gracing our our clinic um and then you got to work with Andrea our yoga therapist too yes um and then you worked with a special uh psychologist who specializes in, in functional neurologic disorders yes. too and she um though she wasn't at our location she collaborated with us which was so nice uh because she really she really understands the disorders and um and what you needed and i'm i'm wondering what it was like to be a part of that team that integrated team you knew we were meeting every week to discuss your case and to to kind of take all the pieces together what was it like for you
It was amazing to be a part of just the amazing team that I had with you guys because everyone was fully in it. Like, I knew everyone personally, which was the part I was missing here. Like, it, it, which I was just trying to describe to Chelsea that, like, it felt really home. Like, it felt like home being at Reactive, which I really miss now. Um, it was amazing being a part of such a great team because everyone had a different perspective on FND. So when I first got there, they each described, you guys each described it as something different, which I really liked because I got like a little snippet of how you each described. No one really gave me a definition yeah, when yeah, I was you're here. Very right. I love so I really that, that with our team because I get to be a part of those team meetings when all of the different people come together. I always learn a little bit from each person. The psychology <laughs> says some, psychologist says something, and I go, oh, that's so interesting. And the OT says something, and the PT, and the yoga therapist. And we, we, you're the center of the team. <laughs> you're the center of our universe when you're here. But we all are kind of bringing those different perspectives to help understand you, your body, your brain, those connections, and and really help you make those connections, um, which clearly you have, which is yeah. which is so um, so awesome. And I should tell people, by the way, you came out to California from Massachusetts, so you made a trek to to join us. Uh, yes, and I'm I'm so glad that you did. <laughs> I'm so glad you did. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm curious too. You also, you know that. Your time here was a lot of time. It was a lot of work. You and your family were just on board here as a team. And I'm really wondering, like, how did you do that? How did you kind of push through and keep going, especially with a lot of symptoms, right? You came in not able to move or speak or see. And I, and I know that was really hard, but you kept pushing. And what, yeah. what was it that kept you going? Um, my, my sister and my mom are my big leaders in what keeps me going, especially my sister. I was so glad that she got to come because in the beginning she wasn't going to come because of school and everything. So I was really glad that she got to come. She's pretty much why I made all my progress. She was my cheerleader. If you look at all the videos, she's right there. She <laughs> Oh, my little PT, little assistant, um, so Chelsea Calder. <laughs> um, what else? Um, my support family. Um, my support family here, they so doing that really helped. And while I was actually in California, I got to drop off a package to a little kid who's actually done with treatment. So I was really happy and I got to be able to see and talk to her. So that really, really helps being able to give back and making all the paintings for you guys. And that reactive painting and making my blood, I made a blanket and- Yeah, you got making all so making creative while you're here. And now, by the way, Bella, I'll have to post a picture of this created this beautiful painting is up in the front of her clinic now about all of the things she experienced while at reactive and I apologize Bella because I think uh, our connection got like funky in the middle of that but it, it caught up I think it, it caught everything that you said it just for a moment it sped up and it slowed down weird oh, no. weird internet things I think but um, I, I really agree with you. Your family was such a support. Kavi is in every video with us. She really became a part of our team with you, right? And we did so many, like, dances and singing and games that, that uh, she was a part of and your mom was a part of as well. And I, I do think having that support has been so nice. And tapping in, 
I mean, I think this is such a really wonderful part of our OTs is tapping into those things that you love. And I love that you started that nonprofit. We had this huge, huge bin of toys to share with people that our whole, um, our whole clinic gathered around and collected so many patients brought in toys. And so I really love how you inspired our community. <laughs> It was awesome. It was awesome. And that like really, um, it shows us a lot about you too, which I think is so, so cool. And that we could, could, you know, help facilitate some really meaningful and wonderful things while you were here and that you've impacted all of us um, in very much the same, the same way. Um, Now I'm also curious, Bella, because you, as you told your story, I, you know, I heard a lot of what other people tell me. They went to this person and this person and this person thought they were crazy and this person told them it was in their head and this person um, wanted, you know, I, I think you even said like almost just like this, they wanted to treat you like a psych patient, which was not what was happening for you. And um, you went you went through a lot, which I hear from a lot of people and, um, you know, I'm, I'm curious about your message for other people with functional movement disorders that might feel discouraged or might feel that they can't get better. And obviously, you've made huge improvements. So I'm wondering what you might say to somebody who might be feeling discouraged. And I also see a little dot, like I'm losing our connection here, Bella. So let me know if you've got my question there. Oh, Bella, I feel like we're losing you here. Oh, we lost Bella. I think we lost her connection. So I'm going to go ahead and add her here again. And it looks like she lost her cell connection. Um, and so while we're while we're waiting for her coming back on here again, I um, really I want to show you if I can the picture that she painted for our clinic. It's right here actually. Um, she created this picture that was reactive, and you can see that she had goals and energy and laughter. I don't know that we've ever had so much fun in the clinic, um, to be honest, with a lot of, yay, Bella, you're back. I was just, as we were waiting for you to come back, I showed a picture of your painting, actually, and I was telling people about it. Um, And let's see if you're back. I still see a little kind of dot around you. like it's connecting. Let's see if it is coming back here. Connecting, connecting. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I'm going to see if we can get Bella on. So let me put her back. This is the the fun part of technology sometimes is just getting connected and making sure we have connections. Um, So I was sharing um, with you all her painting and I'm just going to bring it up again because it's so, so beautiful. And um, if it will let me share it, I'm not sure it will. Um, Here it is. So this is the painting that, that uh, Bella created. And I think what really strikes me is just remembering when Ella started with us, she didn't have any movement in her hands, couldn't see, um, couldn't speak a lot, and um, didn't have any control to do something like this. And so it's such a statement to see it, um, a statement of her um, persistence and recovery. Um, and, um, oh, it looks like Bella is not able to join, so we might have to cut our time short or we'll bring her back on. Um, I'm going to try it just one more time. 
and it might just be cell phone. Oh, there you are, Bella. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Technology, right? Like, and cell phone service. That's what I, I got to share your, your poster, but um, I'm glad you're back. Um, I, what I was asking you, and this is kind of uh, one of my last questions, is maybe what you would share with other people who have FND, they've been through a lot like you have, maybe they've lost function in their in their body and their eyes and all of the things like you and maybe they're feeling discouraged yeah. which I know many, many many of us would and you have as well like what you might tell them to to encourage them and not give them hope that this might get better um I would tell them that um there is a doctor out there there are people out there you just have to find them and um I know that um, you don't, you never want to hear, just wait, it's all in your head. Waiting, I know waiting sucks, you have to do it. It does suck. You don't have to wait. There are people out there. Do a lot of Googling. <laughs> um, and that it will eventually get better. Um, you have to put in a lot of work. And that if as long as you have a positive mind, which is really hard, um, try to distract yourself. Distractions are really helpful. Finding things you enjoy and just do them all day long. It really helps. Yeah. Oh, I feel like you could you're you're gonna be ready to come and be a therapist, Bella. <laughs> you have learned a lot, but you're right. You put in the work. This was not an easy overnight task. No. You put in a good couple of months of work, a lot of PT, a lot of OT, psychology, yoga therapy. You put in the whole thing and and did and did the work and you started engaging in those things that you love um mm -hmm. again and that that is just the ultimate prize right to get yeah. back to back to what you love and so what is next for you i know you went back home you're back yeah. in massachusetts and what is next so well tomorrow actually i have um pt and ot start back to see what they think um so we'll see how that goes um I don't really know I don't know what's next um going to Michael's to get some paint stuff because I don't have anything at home <laughs> um get some living stuff to entertain me because now my sister's back at school so it's it's all a huge adjustment um being home not in the hotel is a huge adjustment back to not not adaptive home mm -hmm. so it's a big adjustment it's it's hard not being the cold really hard my body's all tense now so mm -hmm. I have to figure out a way to be warm in the cold <laughs> so it's, it's gonna be a big adjustment but we'll figure it out yeah, yeah, it is an adjustment. It's a really big adjustment to, to go back home. And I mean, a big climate difference for you yeah. from California yeah. to, um, to Massachusetts as well in the winter time. Absolutely. And I'm excited for you to take your next steps, which might be literal steps. I yeah, know that's I know. where where you left off was yeah. where you regained the control, but now it was like, You've been in a wheelchair, like regaining some of that strength for you to stand yeah. and walk. And I, I definitely know that's coming for you, but it just takes, it takes time, right, to build yeah. those pieces. So I'm excited for you to, to get back into PT and OT there to just keep taking those next steps. I mean, we were all blown away with what you accomplished. Uh, at reactive to go from not seeing to seeing to not moving your limbs at all to moving your arms and your legs and and having full body control to being able to talk and and do all of these things that's a lot yeah. <laughs> you've accomplished so so much 
Yeah. You've got some huge fans here, <laughs> by the way. Um, you've got huge fans that say, Bilbo, I'm your number one fan. <laughs> and other people that are say they're so happy for you, Bella. So, um, and we're so happy for you. And I know that we'll, we'll stay in touch to just keep hearing how your journey journey goes and now we'll get to share what what you've learned with other people and I think one of the things we're so passionate about is getting the word out there because as you say you like google and google right and your yeah. your mom was like the master at oh yeah 3 a.m googling in the morning 3 oh yes, my gosh yes, yes. um so um, we want to keep getting the word out there about yeah. functional neurologic disorders, that it's not in your head, that it's not a psych psychologic diagnosis, <laughs> that um, with an integrated team, you could have really great results. And you have certainly shown us. So thank you for yeah. sharing your story, because uh, that's also not easy. So thank you for sharing it and helping yeah. others to have hope, too. Yeah. So thank you so much, Bella. We we miss seeing you live, but it's so wonderful to see your face here. Thank you. And we'll stay in touch, and I can't wait to, to see you again. Me too. Okay. Take care, Bella. Thank you.